Don't believe this common myth. Success is only for the lucky or the exceptionally talented. The truth is, success is within your reach, no matter where you start or what challenges you face. It's not about waiting for the perfect moment or having all the answers. It's about taking control of your life, embracing your strengths and pushing beyond your limits. If you want to rise above mediocrity and truly unleash your potential, you need to do this. Take charge of your inner world and master your mindset. Have you ever felt stuck, like something is holding you back from achieving your goals? Maybe you've doubted your abilities, compared yourself to others, or felt overwhelmed by the obstacles in your path. But what if I told you that the power to break free from these limitations lies within you? It's not about external circumstances, it's about cultivating the right mindset, habits and strategies that empower you to rise above and create the life you truly desire. In this journey, we'll dive into principles that have guided some of the greatest minds throughout history, from Stoic philosophers to modern-day achievers. You'll learn how to harness the power of your mind, prioritize your well-being, and build the confidence needed to take on life's challenges. So, get ready to transform your perspective, elevate your life, and unlock your full potential. The path to greatness starts here. Let's begin. 1. Break free and unleash your potential. Imagine waking up each morning with a sense of purpose, excitement, and an unshakable belief in your potential. Picture yourself stepping into your day with confidence, knowing that you have the power to shape your future. It's a vision that many of us dream of, but often struggle to achieve. In a world that constantly demands more from us, it's easy to feel trapped, like you're just going through the motions, giving endlessly, but never truly moving forward. The cycle of overgiving, whether in our relationships, careers, or personal pursuits, can leave us feeling depleted, disconnected from our true selves, and wondering if this is all life has to offer. But what if there was a way to break free from these invisible chains and rediscover your power? What if you could tap into a source of strength that not only rejuvenates your spirit, but also propels you toward your highest aspirations? The truth is, you can. It's about unlocking the potential that lies within you, waiting to be unleashed. It's about shifting your mindset and embracing a philosophy that empowers you to take control of your life. This journey begins with understanding who you are, what you stand for, and how you can harness your inner resources to create the life you want. As we dive into this journey together, think back to a time when you felt truly alive filled with hope and possibility. Maybe it was during your childhood when the world seemed vast and full of promise. Or perhaps it was in a moment of success when you knew without a doubt that you could achieve anything you set your mind to. That spark, that feeling, it's still within you. And it's time to reignite it. 2. Understanding Stoicism Inner Mastery for Outer Conquest to unlock your potential and create a life of fulfillment, you need a strong foundation, a philosophy that guides you through life's challenges while keeping you focused on what truly matters. This is where Stoicism comes in. At its core, Stoicism is about mastering your inner world so that you can navigate the outer world with grace, strength and resilience. It's about understanding that while you can't control everything that happens to you, you can control how you respond. And in that response lies your true power. Imagine facing a difficult situation. Maybe it's a setback at work, a strained relationship, or an unexpected challenge. Your initial reaction might be frustration, anger, or even despair. But what if? Instead of being overwhelmed by these emotions, you could take a step back, breathe, and choose a response that aligns with your values and goals. This is the essence of Stoicism. It teaches us to focus on what we can control, our thoughts, actions and attitudes, and let go of what we can't. 
Stoicism isn't about suppressing your emotions or becoming detached from the world. It's about cultivating a mindset that allows you to stay calm, focused and resilient in the face of adversity. It's about recognizing that challenges are an inevitable part of life, but they don't have to define you. Instead, they can be opportunities for growth, learning and self-improvement. Think back to a time when you overcame a challenge that seemed insurmountable. Maybe it was a personal struggle, a difficult decision or a moment of doubt, but you pushed through and in the end, you emerged stronger, wiser and more resilient. This is the power of Stoicism. It's about harnessing that inner strength to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and determination. As you embark on this journey of self-mastery, remember that true success isn't about achieving perfection or avoiding challenges. It's about learning to navigate life's inevitable obstacles with a sense of purpose, clarity and inner peace. And in doing so, you not only conquer the world around you, but you also conquer yourself. 3. Make yourself a priority. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, it's easy to lose sight of yourself. You spend your days taking care of others, your family, your friends, your colleagues, often putting their needs before your own. It's a noble endeavor, but over time, it can leave you feeling drained, resentful, and disconnected from your own desires and aspirations. You might even start to believe that prioritizing yourself is selfish, that your worth is measured by how much you give to others. But this mindset is not only detrimental to your well-being, it also hinders your ability to truly show up for those you care about. Imagine for a moment that your life is like a garden. If you spend all your time tending to the plants of others, neglecting your own, what happens? Your garden withers, becomes overgrown with weeds, and eventually it stops bearing fruit. But when you take the time to nurture your own garden, to water it, to prune it, to give it the care and attention it needs, it flourishes. It becomes a source of beauty, joy and sustenance, not just for you, but for everyone around you. Making yourself a priority isn't about ignoring the needs of others. It's about recognizing that your own well-being is the foundation upon which you build everything else. When you take care of yourself, physically, mentally and emotionally, you become more resilient, more focused and more capable of handling life's challenges. You become a better partner, a better parent, a better friend and a better leader. Think back to a time when you felt truly in tune with yourself, when you were taking care of your own needs and desires. Maybe it was during a vacation when you had the space to relax and reflect, or perhaps it was a period in your life when you were pursuing a passion or a hobby that brought you joy and fulfillment. How did that feel? How did it impact your relationships, your work and your overall sense of well-being? Now, consider the times when you neglected yourself, when you put everyone else's needs before your own. How did that feel? How did it affect your energy levels, your mood and your ability to handle stress? The contrast is striking, isn't it? By making yourself a priority, you're not only investing in your own happiness and fulfillment, you're also setting an example for others. You're showing them that it's possible to care for yourself while still being there for the people and things that matter to you. You're demonstrating that self-care isn't selfish, it's essential. So, how can you start making yourself a priority? It begins with small, intentional actions. It's about carving out time for yourself, even in the midst of a busy schedule. It's about setting boundaries and saying no when you need to. It's about listening to your own needs and honoring them, just as you would for someone you love. Because at the end of the day, you deserve the same care, attention and compassion that you so freely give to others. By embracing this mindset, you not only reclaim your energy and vitality, but you also create a ripple effect that positively impacts every aspect of your life. And in doing so, 
you unlock a new level of potential, one that allows you to live life on your own terms, with passion, purpose, and a deep sense of fulfillment. 4. Enhance your appearance. Boost confidence and influence. Imagine stepping into a room and instantly commanding attention. Not just because of what you're wearing, but because of the confidence that radiates from within you. Your appearance is more than just the clothes on your back or the style of your hair. It's an extension of your self-expression, a reflection of how you see yourself and how you want to be seen by the world. Enhancing your appearance is about more than vanity. It's about embracing your unique identity and using it as a tool to elevate your confidence and influence. Think about a time when you dressed up for a special occasion. Maybe it was a wedding, a job interview, or an important event. You took the time to put on your best outfit, style your hair just right, and add those finishing touches that made you feel like the best version of yourself. How did that change the way you walked into the room? How did it affect your interactions with others? Chances are you felt more confident, more in control, and more prepared to take on whatever the day had in store. But enhancing your appearance isn't just about looking good on the outside, it's about feeling good on the inside. It's about aligning your outer presentation with your inner values and aspirations. When you feel good about how you look, it boosts your self-esteem, which in turn positively impacts your relationships, your work, and your overall outlook on life. Remember, enhancing your appearance doesn't mean conforming to societal standards or trying to be someone you're not. It's about finding what makes you feel confident and comfortable in your own skin. Whether it's dressing in a way that reflects your personal style, taking care of your physical health, or simply practicing good grooming habits, these small actions can have a big impact on how you carry yourself. And it's not just about you. Your appearance can also influence how others perceive and interact with you. In a world where first impressions matter, Presenting yourself well can open doors, build connections, and create opportunities that might not have been there otherwise. It's not about being superficial. It's about using your appearance as a tool to communicate who you are and what you stand for. So, the next time you're getting ready to face the world, take a moment to consider how you want to present yourself. Are you dressing in a way that makes you feel confident and empowered? Are you taking care of your body in a way that supports your overall well-being? By making these small, intentional choices, you not only enhance your appearance, but also boost your confidence and influence, allowing you to show up as the best version of yourself, day in and day out. 5. Keep a smile on your face. A social superpower. A smile is more than just a facial expression. It's a social superpower. It's a universal language that transcends barriers, breaks down walls, and connects us to others in ways that words often can't. When you smile, you not only brighten your own day, but also the days of those around you. It's a simple yet powerful gesture that can transform interactions, shift the energy in a room, and create a ripple effect of positivity. Think about the last time someone smiled at you. Perhaps a stranger on the street, a colleague at work, or a loved one at home. How did it make you feel? Even if you were having a tough day, that smile likely brought a moment of warmth, connection, and relief. Smiling is contagious. It spreads joy and fosters a sense of camaraderie that can make even the most mundane moments feel special. But smiling isn't just about making others feel good. It's also about taking care of yourself. Studies have shown that smiling, even when you don't necessarily feel like it, can actually boost your mood and reduce stress. It triggers the release of endorphins, the body's natural feel-good chemicals, and helps you stay calm and centered in the face of challenges. It's a simple yet effective tool for managing your emotions and staying resilient, no matter what life throws your way. Think back to a time when you smiled through a difficult situation. 
Maybe it was during a tough conversation, a stressful day at work, or a moment of uncertainty. That smile, however small, likely helped you navigate the situation with grace and poise. It reminded you that no matter how challenging things might seem, you have the inner strength to face them head on. Smiling is also a powerful tool for building relationships and influencing others. When you smile, you send a message of openness, approachability, and warmth. It invites others in and creates a sense of trust and connection. Whether you're meeting someone for the first time or deepening an existing relationship, a genuine smile can be the key to forming meaningful bonds. So, the next time you're feeling overwhelmed or uncertain, remember the power of a smile it's a small gesture, but one that can have a big impact on your mood, your relationships, and your overall sense of well-being. Keep that smile on your face and watch how it transforms not only your day, but also the lives of those around you. 6. Maintain Kindness While limiting contact In a world that often feels chaotic and overwhelming, kindness is a beacon of light. It's a choice to show compassion, understanding and empathy, even when it's difficult. But while kindness is a virtue, it doesn't mean you have to be everything to everyone. Maintaining kindness while limiting contact is about finding the balance between being there for others and protecting your own energy and well-being. Think about a time when you went out of your way to help someone, even though you were already stretched thin. Maybe it was a friend in need, a family member going through a tough time, or a colleague who needed extra support. While your kindness was likely appreciated, it might have come at the expense of your own needs and boundaries. Over time, this can lead to burnout, resentment, and a sense of being overwhelmed. Maintaining kindness while limiting contact means being mindful of where you invest your energy. It's about recognizing that while you want to be there for others, you also need to take care of yourself. It's about setting healthy boundaries that allow you to show kindness without depleting your own resources. Think back to a time when you had to set boundaries with someone, even though it was difficult. Maybe it was saying no to a request for help, limiting your interactions with a toxic person, or simply taking time for yourself when you needed it. How did that feel? While it might have been uncomfortable in the moment, it likely allowed you to preserve your energy and focus on what truly mattered. By maintaining kindness while limiting contact, you're not only protecting your own well-being, but you're also setting an example for others. You're showing that it's possible to be compassionate and caring while still honoring your own needs and boundaries. You're demonstrating that kindness isn't about sacrificing yourself for others. It's about finding a balance that allows you to show up as your best self, both for yourself and for those around you. So the next time you find yourself in a situation where you're being pulled in multiple directions, take a moment to reflect on your boundaries. Are you giving more than you can afford? Are you sacrificing your own well-being for the sake of others? By being mindful of your energy and setting limits where necessary, you can maintain kindness while still taking care of yourself. And in doing so, you create a space for true connection and compassion, one that benefits both you and those you care about. 7. Remain calm in stressful situations. Stressful situations are an inevitable part of life. Whether it's a sudden crisis at work, a personal challenge, or just the daily grind wearing you down, stress has a way of creeping in and testing your limits. But in these moments, how you respond can make all the difference. Remaining calm in stressful situations isn't just about keeping a cool exterior. It's about maintaining inner peace, clarity, and resilience, no matter what life throws your way. Think back to a time when you faced a particularly stressful situation. Maybe it was an unexpected deadline, a difficult conversation, or a moment when everything seemed to be going wrong at once. What was your initial reaction? 
Did you feel overwhelmed, anxious or paralyzed by the pressure? Or were you able to take a step back, breathe and approach the situation with a clear mind? The difference between these responses often comes down to one thing, the ability to remain calm. Remaining calm doesn't mean suppressing your emotions or pretending everything is fine. It's about acknowledging the stress, accepting the reality of the situation, and then finding a way to navigate through it with grace and poise. This might mean taking a few deep breaths, pausing before reacting, or simply reminding yourself that you have the strength and capability to handle whatever comes your way. Think about a time when you were able to stay calm during a difficult situation. Perhaps it was during an emergency when you had to think quickly and act decisively. Or maybe it was in a heated discussion where you managed to keep your composure and communicate effectively. How did that calmness impact the outcome? Chances are it helped you stay focused, make better decisions and ultimately come out of the situation stronger. Remaining calm also has a ripple effect on those around you. When you're able to keep your cool, it helps to diffuse tension, reduce anxiety, and create a more positive and productive environment. Whether you're leading a team, supporting a friend, or simply managing your own stress, your calm presence can inspire others to stay grounded as well. But staying calm isn't always easy. It requires practice, patience, and a commitment to self-care. It means taking the time to nurture your mental and emotional well-being so that when stress does arise, you have the tools and resilience to handle it. This might involve mindfulness practices, regular exercise, healthy eating, or simply finding moments of quiet in your day to recharge. So, the next time you find yourself in a stressful situation, remember to pause, breathe, and center yourself. Remind yourself that you have the inner strength to face whatever challenges come your way. By remaining calm, you not only navigate stress more effectively, but you also set the stage for more positive outcomes, both for yourself and those around you. 8. Set your own course. Define your path. Life is full of choices, opportunities and challenges that shape who we are and where we're headed. But in a world full of noise and external expectations, it's easy to get lost or find yourself on a path that doesn't truly align with who you are. Setting your own course is about taking ownership of your life, defining your path and staying true to your values and aspirations, no matter what others may think or say. Think about a time when you felt pulled in different directions by the expectations of others. Maybe it was choosing a career, making a big life decision, or even something as simple as how you spend your free time. Were you following your own desires, or were you influenced by the opinions and pressures of those around you? It's natural to want to please others, but when you start living your life based on someone else's expectations, you lose sight of your own dreams and ambitions. Setting your own course means taking the time to reflect on what truly matters to you. It's about asking yourself, what do I want from life? What are my passions, my values, my goals? And then, once you have those answers, it's about taking bold steps to pursue them, even if it means going against the grain or taking a path less traveled. Think back to a moment when you made a decision that was truly your own, one that was guided by your inner compass rather than the opinions of others. Maybe it was a career change, a move to a new city, or simply standing up for something you believe in. How did that decision make you feel? There's a unique sense of fulfillment and empowerment that comes from knowing you're living life on your own terms. But defining your path doesn't mean it will always be easy. There will be challenges, doubts and moments of uncertainty along the way. You may face criticism, judgment or even pushback from those who don't understand your choices. But when you're confident in your direction, those obstacles become easier to navigate. You learn to trust yourself 
to tune out the noise and to keep moving forward with purpose and determination. Setting your own course also means being flexible and open to change. Life is unpredictable and sometimes the path you set for yourself may shift or evolve over time. That's okay. What matters is that you stay true to your core values and continue to make decisions that align with who you are and where you want to go. So, as you move forward in life, remember that you are the captain of your ship. Define your own course and don't be afraid to follow it, even if it takes you in a different direction than others. Trust yourself, stay true to your values and embrace the journey ahead. By doing so, you create a life that's authentically yours, filled with purpose, passion and fulfillment. 9. Make your stand. Courage to be true to yourself. Courage is often associated with grand, heroic acts, but in reality, it's found in the everyday moments when we choose to be true to ourselves. Making your stand is about having the courage to stand up for your beliefs, values and principles, even when it's difficult or unpopular. It's about refusing to compromise who you are in order to fit in or gain approval from others. Think about a time when you were faced with a situation that challenged your values or beliefs. Maybe it was standing up for a friend, refusing to participate in something that didn't feel right, or simply expressing your true opinions in a room where everyone else seemed to disagree. How did that feel? It probably wasn't easy. You may have felt nervous, unsure or even scared, but in that moment, you chose to stand firm in who you are and that's where true courage lies. Being true to yourself requires a deep sense of self-awareness and self-respect. It means knowing your worth, understanding your boundaries, and being willing to walk away from situations, people or opportunities that don't align with who you are. This doesn't mean being inflexible or closed-minded, but rather having a strong sense of your core values and refusing to compromise on them. Think back to a time when you made a stand for something you believed in, even when it wasn't easy. Maybe it was speaking up in a meeting, defending someone who was being treated unfairly, or simply choosing to follow a path that others didn't understand. How did that decision impact your life? While it might have been challenging in the moment, it likely brought a sense of peace and fulfillment, knowing that you stayed true to yourself. Making your stand also means being willing to face the consequences of your choices. There may be times when standing up for what you believe in leads to criticism, rejection, or even conflict. But when you're grounded in your values, those challenges become easier to navigate. You learn to trust yourself and to find strength in the knowledge that you're living in alignment with your true self. Courage doesn't mean the absence of fear, it means moving forward despite it. It's about embracing vulnerability, taking risks, and being willing to stand alone if necessary. But in doing so, you not only build inner strength, but you also inspire others to do the same. Your courage becomes a beacon for others, showing them that it's possible to live authentically and with integrity, even in a world that often pressures us to conform. So, as you navigate the challenges and choices of life, remember to make your stand. Be true to who you are, even when it's difficult or uncomfortable. Trust in your values, honor your principles, and have the courage to stand firm in your beliefs. By doing so, you create a life of authenticity, integrity, and true fulfillment, one that reflects the person you were always meant to be. 10. Nurture your wit. Cultivate humor as a tool. Humor is often seen as light-hearted entertainment, but it goes much deeper than that. It's a powerful tool that can help you connect with others, diffuse tension, and even navigate difficult situations with grace. Nurturing your wit isn't just about being funny, it's about seeing the world with a perspective that allows you to find joy even in challenging times. 
Humor helps us deal with the absurdities of life, bringing a sense of relief and bonding us with those who share in the laughter. Think back to a time when humor lightened a difficult situation. Maybe it was during a tough day at work when a colleague cracked a joke that made everyone laugh, instantly breaking the tension. Or perhaps it was in a moment of personal struggle when someone's witty remark helped you see things in a new light and reminded you not to take life too seriously. Humor has this amazing ability to shift our mood, bring us together and make even the hardest moments a bit more bearable. In today's world, where stress and negativity can often feel overwhelming, cultivating humor is more important than ever. Whether it's through witty banter with friends, finding humor in everyday situations, or simply learning to laugh at yourself, embracing humor can be a powerful way to improve your mental and emotional well-being. It allows you to maintain perspective, reminding you that no matter how tough things get, there's always room for a little laughter. Think of someone in your life who has a great sense of humor. How does their wit make you feel when you're around them? People who can find humor in life's challenges tend to be more resilient, adaptable, and approachable. Their positivity is infectious, and they often create an atmosphere where others feel comfortable and at ease. Nurturing your wit doesn't just benefit you, it also has a ripple effect on those around you. But humor isn't just about making jokes. It's also about timing, empathy, and understanding your audience. It's about knowing when to use humor to lighten the mood and when to be more sensitive to the situation. Developing this skill requires practice and a keen sense of awareness, but it's a valuable tool that can enhance your relationships, boost your confidence, and help you navigate life's ups and downs with a smile. So how can you start nurturing your wit? Begin by paying attention to the humor around you. Notice the small, funny moments in your day-to-day -day life and don't be afraid to share them with others. Practice finding the lighter side of difficult situations and learn to laugh at your own mistakes. Over time, you'll find that humor becomes a natural part of how you navigate the world, helping you connect with others and maintain a positive outlook, no matter what life throws your way. Drop a if you've watched this far. This shows that you're part of the rare 0.01% who actually finish what they start. You've now got the tools and insights to take charge of your life, elevate your mindset and make a real impact. But remember, knowledge is only the beginning. The real power lies in action. So take that first step, commit to your growth, and don't let anything hold you back. If you're serious about changing your life, make sure to join our channel by subscribing. This is just the start of your journey. Together, we'll continue to rise above, push beyond limits, and achieve greatness. Your future self will thank you for the decisions you make today.